Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I hope you have started your preparations for the Central Bank of India Credit Officer exam and also for the Bank of Maharashtra Credit Officer exam. So RBI circulars are very very important for your exam students. So today I am going to share the question bank for RBI circular starting from January 2023 till October 2023. Students RBI circulars are really really important for your exam. Most probably you are going to see at least 10 questions, 10 questions in your exam directly from RBI circulars. I generally recommend my students to go through RBI circulars from the year 2022 till 2023. Uh, it is very important to do master circulars, priority sector lending, IRAC norms, KYC, which are really, really important, right? So let's start the session. Uh, my name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 10 years now, long time. This is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts. Okay. So Central Bank of India Credit Officer Scale to Course is available on bankexamstudy.com where I'm providing video classes, notes, live session, mock test, weekly quizzes and interview preparation course, right? So everything is part of the full course, right? Link to join the course is available in the description. Please check the description and there you can join the course. So list of our successful students, all these students that took our courses in the past and they crack their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. So students, uh, let's start the session. Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do RBI circulars from month of uh, January 2023 till August 2023. So this is really, really important for IBPS RRB scale to scale three exams. So MCQ format mein karenge, MCQ format mein karenge, sare questions have ek place pe la ke rakh diya aapke liye. So we'll be explaining all the questions, very important question for your exam. I hope 2025 minutes mein ye sessions, a session complete ho jana chahi, usse bhi jaldi ho jaega, I guess. What is the maximum amount that a resident individual can remit under uh, liberalized remittance scheme LRS per financial year for any permissible current or capital account transaction or combination of both. So uh, automatic route pay up maximum ek individual kitana uh, jo hai paisa bhej sakta hai right. It is uh, 2 lakh and 50 thousand US dollars. So uh, let me just hide my face so that you can concentrate on the content right. So it's two lakh and fifty thousand dollars. Which of the following statement is true about remittances to IFSC? Uh, so it's IFSC gift city under LRS. So there is a recent, not recent, six months ago, old RBI circular. Hai. So re resident individuals ca uh, can keep lying idle funds in their FCA foreign currency account in IFSC for more than fifteen days without repatriating them to India. So pehle allowed nahi tha, now it is allowed. Pehle allowed nahi tha, now it is allowed. You can keep the money for more than 15 days uh, in your account, in your FC account. Okay, so C is the correct answer. Which of the following statement is true about general credit card facility? What is general credit card? So it is a scheme that provides working capital facility. To whom? To non-farm entrepreneurial activities that are eligible for priority sector classification. I hope you have seen priority sector lending, PRL, uh, priority sector uh, lending ka lecture dekha hua hai, master circular hai, RBI ki guidelines hai ki kuch certain amount of money jo hai, wo priority sector ko deni hai, agriculture uh, aati hai, usme renewable energy aati hai, education aata hai. So, uh, you can read the lecture ko padhe, right? Bahut important hai. Working capital facility for non-farm entrepreneurial activities which are eligible for priority sector classification Unke liye general credit card facility jo hai, start kari gai hai. Very important, acha product hai. Thoda naam yaad rakhe, exam mein aa sakta hai. How many tiers of UCBs, urban cooperative banks are there in the revised regulatory framework of RBI? Bada important question hai, char uh, tiers hain ab uh, <clears throat> and tiers are according to the deposit size of the UCBs okay so muta muta deposit size ke according categorization kari gai hai agli questions mein pura detail mein bhi karwayenge so what is the rate of provisioning for standard assets 
इन कमर्शियल रियल इस्टेट रेजिडेंशियल हाउसिंग सेक्टर सो प्रोविजनिंग कितनी रखनी है यहाँ पे पॉइंट सेवन फाइव परसेंट पॉइंट सेवन फाइव परसेंट कमर्शियल रियल इस्टेट रेजिडेंशियल हाउसिंग सेक्टर के लिए दिस इज लोअर देन द कमर्शियल रियल इस्टेट सेक्टर विच इज वन परसेंट ओके बट हायर देन द रेट फॉर डायरेक्ट एडवांसेज टू एग्रीकल्चर एंड एस एम ई सेक्टर विच इज पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट वट इज द रेट ऑफ प्रोविजनिंग फॉर स्टैंडर्ड एसेट्स कमर्शियल रियल इस्टेट फॉर रेजिडेंशियल हाउसिंग सेक्टर का पॉइंट सेवन फाइव कमर्शियल के लिए जो है रियल इस्टेट के लिए वन परसेंट डायरेक्ट एडवांसेज टू एग्रीकल्चर एंड एस एम ई पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट ये याद रखें प्रोविजनिंग बाय वेन डू द इट्स वाइल टीयर वन यू सी बीज हैव टू अचीव द प्रोविजनिंग रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ पॉइंट फोर ऑन एंड ये जो हम पिछले बता रहे थे दिस इज फॉर अर्बन कॉपरेटिव बैंक प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट सो ऑन बाय वेन द टी ए वन अर्बन कॉपरेटिव बैंक हैव टू अचीव द प्रोविजनिंग रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ पॉइंट फोर परसेंट ऑन ऑल अदर लोन एंड एडवांस इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड अब नाउ यहाँ पे अब वाली है नहीं है थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव बट ये जो प्रोविजनिंग है ये जो पिछले पॉइंट में दी थी ये सारी प्रोविजनिंग है दे नीड टू डू दैट बाय थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके अर्बन कॉपरेटिव बैंक्स को ये थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव तक जो है करनी पड़ेगी विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एन एलिजिबल एंटिटी नॉट एन एलिजिबल ग्रीन एक्टिविटी और प्रोजेक्ट अंडर द आर बी आई फ्रेमवर्क फॉर ग्रीन डिपॉजिट्स ग्रीन डिपॉजिट्स एक नया एक काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट है सो बेसिकली जो ग्रीन एक्टिविटीज नहीं है न्यूक्लियर पावर जनरेशन इज नॉट अ ग्रीन एक्टिविटी सो इस फंड में वट द कमर्शियल बैंक एंड एन बी एफ सी इज आर गोइंग टू डू दे आर गोइंग टू रेज फंड ग्रीन डिपॉजिट्स राइट and they are going to you know give loans for the green activities like solar power generation waste to energy conversion uh, green building constructions uh, wind energy nuclear power generation is not a uh, what do you say green activity okay please note that <clears throat> the minimum denomination for green deposits under the rbi framework for green deposits so that is 50000 rupees is the minimum denomination for green deposits under the rbi framework for green deposits 50000 ke minimum denomination hai <coughs> and then further in the multiples of 50000 50000 ek lakh ded lakh that, that way uh, the money can be accepted which of the following entities are eligible to accept green deposits under the rbi framework for green deposits all the scheduled commercial banks and the deposit taking nbfcs including hfcs they can take money for green deposits okay and what is the name of the declaration form for uh, foreign exchange transactions under liberalized remittance scheme fam to declaration form uh, form a2 hota hai i hope aapko pata hi hoga form a2 is the name for the declaration foreign exchange ki transactions ke liye and what is the deadline for urban cooperative banks to comply with the minimum net worth requirement of 2 crore or 5 crore agar ek hi district mein kaam karta hai urban cooperative bank if the urban cooperative bank is operate uh, is operative in only one district then the minimum requirement net worth requirement is 2 crore if it is in multiple districts it, it is 5 crores and they need to achieve it uh, by 31st of march 2028 okay Uh, what should be included in the wire transfer if the originator or beneficiary does not have an account number if they does not have an account number a unique transaction reference number is required okay in the absence of account unique transaction reference number is required and what is the name of platform launched by ministry of msme to facilitate online registration of informal micro enterprises so informal micro enterprises till date they were not able to register not able to get the udyam certificate <clears throat> now a new platform udyam assist platform has been launched so that the micro enterprises can get the certificate easily what is the new rule introduced by rbi on levy of charges or fee on forex prepaid cards store value cards travel cards so whatever the forex card that you take along with you uh, while you go for a trip or a, on a tour okay uh the banks what they were doing they were levying the charges in foreign currency in usd and then they were charging extra money 
एज कन्वर्जन चार्जेस देर वॉज देर वॉज अ स्प्रेड सो बहुत सारे चार्जेस लगा रहे थे सो आर बी आई सेड यू हैव टू लेवी द चार्जेस इन इंडियन रुपीज यू नीड टू लेवी द चार्जेस डिनोमिनेटेड इन इंडियन रुपी आप इंडियन रुपी में चार्जेस लगाइए यू एस डॉलर में मत लगाइए वट इज लाइबॉर सो लाइबॉर इट इज़ अ की बेंच मार्क फॉर अभी इंडिया में इतना अभी यूज़ करना बंद कर रहे हैं ग्रेजुअली बंद कर ही दिया है अ की बेंच मार्क फॉर सेटिंग द इंटरेस्ट रेट चार्ज बाई एडजस्टेबल रेट लोन मॉर्गेजेस एंड कॉर्पोरेट डेट इट इज़ अ स्कैंडल हिट लंडन इंटर बैंक ऑफर्ड रेट सो स्कैंडल हुआ है वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस इट टूडे बट अभी इसको यूज़ करना कम कर दिया है सो वट वी आर यूजिंग आई मीन वी आर वी हैव स्टार्टेड यूजिंग सिक्योर्ड ओवर नाइट फाइनेंसिंग रेट Uh, what is a widely accepted alternative reference rate that RBI has as a banks and financial institutions to adopt by 1st of July to complete the transition from LIBOR to MIFR? So, we are using SOFR. Use kar rahe hai, secured overnight financing rate. What is the purpose of Section 42, Subsection 1A of RBI Act? So, its purpose is that the RBI can ask the ask the banks to maintain additional CRR. ओवर एंड अबव द इस ईयर आर रिक्वायरमेंट जुलाई में हुआ था आर बी ने मई जून जुलाई में आई गेस हुआ था आर बी आज आ बैंक की इन बीस दिनों का जो भी डिपॉजिट मिला है उसका आपको टेन परसेंट ज़्यादा सी आर आर रखना पड़ेगा वॉट एवर ओवर एंड अबव यू आर एग्जिस्टिंग सी आर आर यू नीड टू मेनटेन एक्स्ट्रा सी आर आर सो दैट्स दैट्स वॉट इट इज सेक्शन फोर्टी टू सब सेक्शन वन ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस ईयर एंड वॉट आर द गाइडलाइंस इश्यूड बाई आर बी आई टू इंश्योर रीजनेबलनेस एंड ट्रांसपेरेंसी इन द डिस्क्रो डिस्कलोजर ऑफ पीनल इंटरेस्ट बाय रेगुलेटेड एंटिटी इन इंडिया पीनल इंटरेस्टेड वट बैंक्स वर डूइंग इन केस समबडी वॉज डिफॉल्टिंग द लोन्स कोई लोन को डिफॉल्ट कर रहा था तो उसकी इंटरेस्ट रेट चेंज कर रहे थे बारह से चौदह कर दिए बारह से अठारह कर दिए सो बाई दैट वे द बॉर्वर्ड्स वर यू नो इनकरिंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ लॉसेज एंड द बैंक्स वर नॉट रिजॉल्विंग द इशूज so rbi said you cannot charge penal interest you can only charge penal charges and those charges should be reasonable okay and guidelines to promote reasonableness in the imposition of penal rates so penal rate interest rate to charge nahi kar sakte penalty mein aap penalty mein charges uh, charge kar sakte ho wo bhi reasonable hone chahiye interest rate aap change nahi kar sakte according to the rbi in notification on fair lending practices penal charges and loan account will banks and other lending institution be allowed to levy penal interest no they are not allowed they'll be able they'll be able to levy only penal charges not the penal interest the minimum net owned fund requirement for idf infrastructure development fund uh nbfc as per the revised guideline minimum net fund uh, net owned fund requirement 300 crores hai very important question hai net owned fund requirement for idf nbfc very important question <clears throat> what is the minimum tier 1 capital requirement for idf nbfc as per the revised guideline 10% minimum tier 1 capital requirement kitni hai idf nbfc is ke liye 10% and what is the maximum percentage of total outstanding borrowings that an idf nbfc can raise through shorter tenure bonds shorter tenure bonds and commercial papers total outstanding borrowing jitni bhi hai idf nbfcs ki uska kitna percent short term bond se jo hai raise kar sakte hain maximum jo hai 10% raise kar sakte hain uh, jitna bhi long term hai uska 10% aap shorter term uh, tenure bond ya commercial paper se raise kar sakte hain and what is the requirement of sponsor of idf nbfc as per the revised guideline aisi koi requirement hai hi nahi hai okay <coughs> which type of nbfcs are eligible to sponsor idf mutual funds with prior approval to rbi all these all nbfcs are eligible they can you know uh, sponsor the idf mutual funds and the rbi on 10th of february 2023 released guidelines on issuance and use of upi by foreign travelers and nris visiting india so in the beginning the members of g20 nations would be uh, would be you know able to uh, to use a upi in india so foreigners and nris would be able to use upi <coughs> and uh, which company which is the first uh, company in india that would provide the product to to the uh, nris or foreigners to use upi in india ebix cash uh, provided uh, is the first company to allow to allow you know, nris and uh, foreign tourist in india to use upi 
so upi would be you know this facility would be uh, available to the tourist foreign tourist foreign nationals and the nris as per the rbi guidelines what is the definition of major shareholding in a banking company very important what is a major shareholding in a banking company aggregate holding of 5% or more of the paid up share capital or the voting right so both are important share capital or voting right in a banking company by any person is major shareholding and as per the latest rbi guideline what is the lock in period that means the share cannot be sold share ko bech nahi sakte us period tak shares acquired in a banking company if the share holding in the company is more than 10% but less than 40% agar share holding 10% se zyada hai 40% se kam hai 5 saal ka lock in period hai 5 saal tak aap shares ko nahi bech sakte okay so what is the maximum cap on voting right of a person uh, in a poll of a banking company ek banking company mein kisi bhi person ka 26% ka voting right hai one person cannot have a voting right of more than 26% in a banking company se zyada voting right nahi ho sakta so please remember that that's really really important as per the latest rbi circular what is the deadline for banks to complete the process of renewal of agreements for existing safe deposit lockers so safe deposit lockers ke agreement do teen bar update ho chuke hain and some banks are even doing it online now uh, i guess canara bank is doing online but by 31st of december uh, 2023 uh, these agreements have to be uh, completed the agreements have to be completed which of the following is a significant benchmark as notified by rbi so mybor myfor uh, treasury bill rate or mm myfor uh, modified mumbai interbank uh, forward outright rate so please remember the full form uh, that's also very important mybor myfor or m myfor inki sari ki aap uh, full form bhi yaad rakhe so these are significant benchmarks administered by fbil uh, the F- financial benchmarks india private limited it's a subsidiary of rbi so overnight mumbai interbank outright rate mybor mumbai interbank forward outright rate myfor usd inr reference rate treasury bill rate valuation of government securities valuation of uh, state development loans modified mumbai interbank forward outright rate the rbi prescribed revised norms to categorize ucbs as financially sound and well managed uh, banking entities very very important rbi circular so i guess bahut sare latest exams mein bhi ye aa raha hai which of the following criteria should be satisfied by the urban cooperative bank the crr crar should be at least 1% point above minimum crar requirement of a ucb net npa of not more than 3% no default in maintaining crr slr during the preceding financial year cbs is fully implemented all these are criteria please remember this ye wali slide ko aap dhyan se dekhe crr ye bhi ho chuka hai question mein uh, net profit for at least 3 uh, out of 4 preceding years uh, and not having incurred a loss in the immediate year no default in maintaining crr slr sound internal control system with at least two professional directors cbs implemented no monetary penalty has been imposed on the bank इन द लास्ट टू फाइनेंशियल ईयर बाय आर बी आई सो इसको सारे को याद करके चलें फाइनेंशियली साउंड एंड वेल मैनेज बैंकिंग एंटिटीज यू सी बी की कैटेगरी तभी मिलेगी जब ये अचीव कर लेंगे एज पर द लेटेस्ट अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक कैटेगराइजेशन सर्कुलर बाय आर बी आई टू विच कैटेगरी एंड यू सी बी विल बिलोंग इफ इट हैज़ डिपॉजिट्स ऑफ मोर देन ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड क्रॉर्स टीयर फोर so please remember this all units uh, ucbs and salary are in ucbs and irrespective of the deposit size so that is tier 1 unit c uh, ucbs and salary are in ucb and all other ucbs having deposits up to 100 crores tier 1 100 crores to 1000 crores tier 2 1000 crores to 10000 crores tier 3 and more than 10000 crores tier 4 the deposits referred to above shall be reckoned as per audited balance sheet as on 31st of march Uh, of the immediate preceding financial year so basically ye aapko yaad rakhna hai ye charo tiers hain please remember that please take the screenshot if you want to and what is the minimum net worth requirement for an urban cooperative bank operating in more than one district so that is 5 crores if it is operating in one district it is i guess 2 crores right 
and what is the minimum CRAR requirement uh, for a tier two to tier four urban cooperative banks? It is twelve percent. It is twelve percent. The RBI has asked banks to make enhanced disclosures related to material items in their notes to accounts. So this question was asked in the previous paper. कुछ R R B के नहीं, I guess Bank of Maharashtra में आया था ये question. बहुत ही important है. बहुत सारे question इस class में से recent के तीन चार महीने के exams में आए हैं, जो scale two, scale three level के हैं. So enhanced disclosure related to material items, wherever any item under the head other liabilities and provision and other assets exceeds how much of the total asset one percent of the total asset say agar exceed karti hai koi bhi liability koi bhi asset to uska additional disclosure lagega okay and the rbi has decided to migrate central payment fraud information registry ye paper mein aaya tha cpfir through which scheduled commercial banks and the ppi can report the payment uh, frauds the name of the new platform is daksh daksh is a uh, new platform this platform is going to replace cpfir okay and what is the ceiling on individual housing loans for tier 1 urban cooperative banks tier 1 urban cooperative banks maximum 60 lakh ka jo hai individual housing loan de sakte hain hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is ramandeep singh and today we are going to do RBI circulars analysis for the month of September 2023 okay so i'll try to explain everything in very easy and simple language if there is any doubt in your mind please use a comment section the discussion boards and i'm going to answer your doubts okay so let's start the session uh, with operation of pre sanction credit lines at banks through UPI so i hope you are already aware of the credit lines now it allows the individuals to access their pre approved credit line the credit line jo aap bank se lete ho for your businesses you can access that via upi system whatever the uh, the credit lines you have you can make the payment out of that credit credit lines through upi system because upi it's very fast convenient it's better than uh, cards so now it's available it's operational and then rbi act 1934 uh, section 42 subsection uh, 1a requirement of maintaining additional crr so it, that was in the news in the previous month rbi circular we did that rbi asked the bank to have additional uh, to maintain additional crr rbi asked the banks to maintain additional crr over and above the crr of 4.5% okay rbi asked the banks to do that it was a temporary measure it was a temporary measure but now rbi released those funds now what rbi has done the schedule for releasing the amount under icrr the additional crr banks were supposed to maintain banks were supposed to maintain 10% additional reserves uh, on the net increase in their net time and uh, net demand and time liabilities between 19th of may till 28th of july 2023 is time period ke dauran jo bhi receipts aaya tha banks mein us pe additional crr maintain karna tha now bank is releasing that additional funds that the uh, the rbi has got from the banks okay jo additional crr tha wo wapas diya ja raha hai banks ko so icrr it is uh, the rbi is releasing 25% of the funds would be released by 9th of september and another 25% by 23rd of september and balance 50% on 7th of october 2023 so all the additional crr that the banks were maintaining usko release kiya ja raha hai the next one the master directions classifications valuation and operation of investment portfolio of commercial banks so the master direction uh, classification valuation and operation of investment portfolio of commercial banks so first of all the classification the investments would be classified into three categories the first one is held to maturity if you are holding a uh, an investment till its maturity for example the government bonds the five year government bonds and you are holding the these government sovereign government bond for five years 10 year ka bond hai you are holding it for 10 years so that is held to maturity so if there is uh, an investment which is available for sale so which you may sell in the future and uh, these are held for the trading basis so that is available for sale category afs htm 
fair value through profit and loss investment that are marked to market on a daily basis. So these are FTPL. Three categories, hold till maturity, long term, available for sale that may be sold near in the future. Fair value through profit and loss that are uh, marked to market, this ki valuation daily hoti hai, right? That is F, uh, FVTPL. Net valuation framework investments that are in the F, uh, AFS and FPTPL. AFS, the second category and the third category FPTPL. Categories will be valued at fair value. And the fair value will be determined using marked uh, using marked based methods such as quoted price in active markets or discounted cash flow. So the valuation would be done on the the fair value will be determined by using marked basis market uh, based methods or the quoted price in the market. Jo NSE pe price chal raha, jo market pe price chal raha, uski basis pe valuation karni padegi. Whatever the existing price of that particular security in the market, wo hi use karna padega. And the new operational framework, the direction introduces a number of new operational requirements. Risk management framework, the banks are required to have a robust uh, risk management framework in place for the investment portfolios. Portfolio monitoring, the banks are required to monitor their portfolios, investment portfolio on regular basis to identify and mitigate risk and report the portfolio valuation to the RBI. And these directions would be applicable from 1st of April 2024. <coughs> Let's move forward. Responsible lending conduct, release of movable, immovable property documents on repayment settlement of personal loans. <coughs> what banks were doing, uh, when the banks were giving loans, uh, secured loans to the borrowers, even after repaying their loans, the borrowers were not getting their property documents, the registry documents. There was charge registered against those properties and banks were not lifting those charges. Now RBA had have said that there is a deadline of 30 days. Once a loan is fully paid and it is applicable to banks equally to the banks, NBFCs, HFCs, sab pe lagu hai. if the loan has been fully paid, then first of all, you need to give back the, the property documents, immovable, immovable, immovable property documents. First of all, give the original documents. Pella the document do and remove the charge registered with any registry within 30 periods. You have to do that within 30 days. Uh, within 30 days uh, from the date of full payment, first you need to give back the documents, uh, whatever the property documents you have. Secondly, remove the charges. You need to do these two things. And the borrowers, he can choose to collect choose the place where uh, from where he can collect the property documents borrower decide karega usko document kahan se collect karne hai. either from the branch uh, where he got the loan or from uh, the head office uh, wherever the location of the document is the timeline and the return of uh, and the place of return of original movable or immovable property documents will be mentioned in the loan sanction letters issued on or after the effective date the timeline, whatever the timeline of uh, giving back the documents, it should be mentioned on the loan document when the borrower actually got the loan. The RE will uh, will have a well laid out procedure for the return of the original movable, immovable property documents, right? They should have a proper procedure and that procedure should be properly mentioned on the official website as well as the loan documents. In case of any delay, if the bank or the registered entity in this case, register, who's the registered entity, a bank, NBFC uh, or uh, HFC, whichever organization is registered with RBI, if they are unable to give back the documents or remove the charge against the borrower, uh, borrower's property within 30 days from the date of full repayment of the loan amount of the dues, whatever the dues are, if they are repaid fully within 30 days, if uh, if the registered entity is unable to give back the document or remove the charges against the property, they need to pay a fine of 5000 rupee for each day, 5000 rupee for each day, they need to pay the fine. So in case of loss 
or damage to the original immovable or the movable property either in part or in full the registered entity will assist the borrower in obtaining the dupli uh, duplicate the certified copies it is the duty of registered entity to to help the borrower to obtain uh, the the duplicate and the certified copies of the property right and we bear all the associated cost agar bank ne jo hai bank se registered entity se wo kho gaya hai uh, jo documents kho chuke hain then the bank is going to uh, pay for all the expenses sare expenses bank karega copy lene ke liye certified copy lene ke sare expenses bank karega and what is the maximum period within which the regulated entity should release all the original documents okay that is 30 days compensation 5000 rupees ka compensation the bank is need to bear per day 5 5000 rupee per day yahan pe likhna chahiye 5000 rupee per day of the delay the bank needs to pay in case of loss or damage to the original immovable property uh, whatever the expenses are there to uh, to obtain the the certified copies just hold on that is to be uh, you know uh, the registered entity needs to spend that money okay sare kharche registered entity pay karegi so pm vishwakarma scheme uh, pm vishwakarma scheme it's a government scheme launched in 2023 What's the goal to provide financial and other assistance to traditional artisans and craft people? For the uh, traditional artisans and craft people, the scheme was launched, is launched and for the financial and other support to the craft people. Okay, they are going to get a certificate, PM Vishwakarma certificate they are going to get. The certificate will help them to get the government scheme benefits and the other opportunity and even the loan facilities, right? The scheme provide financial assistance first the financial assistance for the artisans and uh, and the uh, artisans to help them to take up skill training courses so that they can you know uh, learn the new skills toolkit artisans and craft people who registered under, under the scheme will receive a toolkit incentive of 15,000 this incentive will help them purchase tools and equipments needed for their work okay Credit support, uh, the scheme provides financial assistance to the artisans and craft people to obtain loans at affordable interest rates, okay. Then incentives for digital transactions. So if these artisans and craft people who register under the scheme, they'll receive an incentive of one rupee per transaction up to 100 transactions per month. And the scheme provides marketing support to the artisans and craft people to help them sell their products. So the, that includes support for quality certification, branding and promotions, e-commerce linkages, trade fairs, advertising, publicity, and other marketing activities. So the interest rate at the rate of 5%, they will get 3 lakh up to a loan of 3 lakh rupees. Okay. And the minimum age is 18 years to get registered under the scheme and 15,000 rupee ka toolkit subsidy they are going to get. And data quality index for commercial and microfinance segment by the credit information companies. So students, uh, the, the credit information companies, they provide the data to the, the credit institutions, right? So the data qu quality index for commercial and microfinance segment by CIC is a new initiative by RBI to measure the quality of data submitted by credit institutions to CIC. So sorry, the credit institutions, they submit, they give the data to CIC. Now the data quality index would help the CICs to judge the quality of the data provided. So the DQI will be uh, will be calculated on monthly basis and it will be based on the number of factors, including the timeliness of the data submission, accuracy of data, completeness of data, uniqueness of data, accuracy of data, and the DQI will be provided to all CIs. Okay. Display of information uh, under the surface, uh, the secured assets processed under surface. The RBA has said all the registered entities to publish to display the information on their website to display the information regarding the borrowers who secured assets uh, have been taken into possession by registered entities 
अंडर द सरफाइसी सो बैंक ने जो भी एसेट सरफाइसी एक्ट के अंदर बॉरवर से जो है टेक ओवर कर लिए हैं इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग दोज बॉरवर शुड बी डिस्प्लेड ऑन दर वेबसाइट एंड दैट शुड बी अपडेटेड ऑन अ मंथली बेसिड The first such list shall be displayed on the website of RE within six months from the date of this circular. Okay. Sir, for IC's full form, this question was asked in 2022 exam. Very easy question. Uh, securitization uh, and reconstruction of financial assets and enforcement of uh, Security Interest Act. What is the main objective? Without going to court, the banks they they can recover their dues from the. the borrowers okay that is uh, that is the goal without intervention of court when did the rbi issued the circular directing all the regulated entities under its preview to display the information on their websites regarding the defaulter uh, borrowers it is 25th of september 2023 on on a monthly basis the the data would be disseminated on, through the website 2000 rupee notes uh, are discontinued withdrawal from the uh, circulation but the uh, date has been extended till 7th of october 2023 the uh, the deadline has been extended for 7 days that's the only change that's i guess all for today students i hope you like the today's session if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubt and i'm here to answer your doubts thank you and have a very nice day bye bye Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do the RBI circulars questions for the month of October 2023 so let's start the session bahut hi important session hai the questions that i'm going to discuss today uh, you will see the same questions in various credit officer exams journalist officer exams or lending operations एग्जाम्स कोई नैप फिड का सेंट्रल बैंक ऑफ इंडिया बैंक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र ये सब जो एग्जाम्स होने हैं उसमें ये क्वेश्चन रिपीट होने वाले हैं राइट माय नेम इज़ रमनदीप सिंह एंड आई बिन टीचिंग ऑन बैंक एग्जाम्स टुडे फ्रॉम लास्ट ट्वेल्व इयर्स नाउ दिस इज माय व्हाट्सएप नंबर वे यू कैन आस्क योर डाउट्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू आंसर योर डाउट्स ओके सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वट इज़ द मैक्सिमम लोन अमाउंट अ अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक कैन ऑफर कैन ऑफर on gold loan on a bullet repayment basis first of all what is a bullet repayment basis in a bullet repayment basis there is no emi no emi koi emi nahi hoti so whatever the loan amount is it is repaid in one single installment right so 2020 ko aapne loan liya 5 year ka loan liya right 10 lakh rupees ka so 2025 ko ek single payment hoga with interest so that is bullet repayment there is no emi one single installment is there at the maturity maturity pe ek single payment karenge aap theek hai so the maximum loan amount a ucb can offer on a gold loan on a bullet repayment basis is 4 lakh rupees limit has been extended theek hai pehle kam tha ab badh chuka hai and wohi ucb de sakte hain who has uh, completed who has met the overall priority sector lending target if the urban cooperative bank has met the urban uh, has met the priority sector lending target then they can offer this gold loan on a bullet repayment basis agar aapne psl ka target uh, jo hai met kar liya hai complete kar liya hai tabhi aap ye loan offer kar sakte hain gold loan on a bullet repayment basis bullet repayment basis जो टर्म है ये मैंने पिछले एग्जाम्स में काफ़ी बार देखी है आरआरबी के एग्जाम्स में क्रेडिट ऑफिसर के एग्जाम में ऑल दो दिस इज़ एन आर बी सर्कुलर बट दिस टर्म इज इम्पॉर्टेंट प्लीज नोट इट डाउन भूलना नहीं है वेन पी सी ए पी सी ए फ्रेमवर्क आई होप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ द पी सी ए फ्रेमवर्क वट इज पी सी ए फ्रेमवर्क प्रॉम्प्ट करेक्टिव एक्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फुल फॉर्म सी इन 2018, 2019 द बैंक्स वर अंडर ह्यूज स्ट्रेस द पी एस यू बैंक्स वर अंडर ह्यूज स्ट्रेस एन पी ए लेवल वॉज हाई स्टिल द बैंक्स वर ओपनिंग न्यू ब्रांचेज बैंक द पी एस यू बैंक्स वर इन लॉसेज दे वर ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ बैंक करप्सी दैट्स वाई द आर बी आई केम अप विद रूल्स विद अ प्रॉपर फ्रेमवर्क दैट इफ द एन पी ए लेवल इज अबव सर्टन थ्रेश होल्ड लिमिट यू कैन नॉट ओपन न्यू ब्रांचेज राइट सर्टन लिमिटेशन वर सेट दैट वॉज द पी सी ए फ्रेमवर्क इन डेप्थ आई हैव डन अ लेक्चर ऑन दिस इट्स अवेलेबल ऑन बैंक एग्जाम स्टडी डॉट कॉम सो वेन द पी सी ए फ्रेमवर्क फॉर एन बी एफ सी नाउ द पी सी ए फ्रेमवर्क इज गोइंग टू बी एक्सटेंडेड ऑन गवर्नमेंट ओन्ड एन बी एफ सी सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर द पी सी ए फ्रेमवर्क वुड बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड टू गवर्नमेंट एन बी एफ सीज ओके सो हाउ मच नोटिस शुड डी सी सी बी 
डिस्ट्रिक्ट कॉपरेटिव सेंट्रल बैंक डिस्ट्रिक्ट कॉपरेटिव सेंट्रल बैंक डी सी सी बी डिस्ट्रिक्ट कॉपरेटिव सेंट्रल बैंक इफ दे वॉन्ट टू क्लोज डाउन इफ दे वॉन्ट टू क्लोज डाउन क्लोज अ ब्रांच ओके देन दे शुड गिव अ नोटिस ऑफ थ्री मंथ्स टू द कस्टमर्स टू देर कस्टमर्स ओके अब प्रॉपर नोटिफिकेशन प्रॉपर सर्कुलर इज देयर रिगार्डिंग दैट अगर एक डी सी सी बी अपनी ब्रांच बंद करना चाहता है देर नीड टू गिव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नोटिस दे नीड अ परमिशन फ्रॉम आर बी आई वेदर वी कैन डू दैट और नॉट आर बी आई विल चेक वाई दे आर क्लोजिंग डाउन द ब्रांच रीजनिंग क्या है वेदर द कस्टमर्स हैव अदर ऑप्शन राइट वाई दे आर क्लोजिंग इट डाउन इन हूज फेवर वट इज द गोल बिहाइंड इट ओके then they'll do it so 3 months ka notice dena padega what is depositors ed, uh, education and awareness fund uska purpose kya hai so when a person when a depositor or account holder dies or um, uh, when the deposit doesn't show up to claim the deposits agar kisi ne kisi uh, kisi ne bhi bande ne paise jama karaye and he dies so what happens to that money if the nominee is not registered or even if the nominee doesn't come up to claim the money the money is lying up with the banks so the bank submit that money to the rbi okay to the depositor education and awareness fund to promote depositors education and awareness fund that is the goal okay so what is the key measure outlined in the rbi circular to strengthen the customer service rendered by credit information companies and credit institution so i hope you are aware of the sibil when any company when any bank or institution is accessing the users credit record a proper sms and email should be sent to the user to ye intimation hai and if there is any change in the credit records of a of a customer that should be timely updated if the if it is not timely updated द सी आईज दे नीड टू पे हंड्रेड रुपी फाइन पर डे तो ये छोटा सा सर्कुलर है बहुत लंबा है बट ये ही जस्ट है ठीक है रिपीट करके सुन सकते हैं इंटीमेशन ऑफ एक्सेस टू क्रेडिट इंफॉर्मेशन रिपोर्ट एंड अपडेशन ऑफ क्रेडिट इंफॉर्मेशन विद सी आई सीज सो कभी भी कोई आपके क्रेडिट रिकॉर्ड चेक करता है आपको इंफॉर्मेशन जानना चाहिए इंटीमेशन ऑफ एक्सेस शुड बी सेंड एज एन अलर्ट एज एन एस एम एस एंड ई मेल टू यू What is a non-callable deposit? A new concept, non-callable मतलब it's an FD which cannot be prematurely withdrawn, which cannot be broken. एक ऐसी FD डी जिसको आप टाइम से पहले तोड़ नहीं सकते आपने पाँच साल की एफ डी कराई छः महीने बाद आपको पैसे की जरूरत पड़ गई और आपने वो ब्रेक कर दी बट नॉन कॉलेबल यू कैन नॉट ब्रेक इट ओके इट इज़ अ डिपॉजिट Uh, where depositors cannot withdraw their money before the maturity of the deposit. Okay, that is a uh non breakable fd in simple terms what is the minimum amount for offering non callable term deposits so it is 1 crore 1 crore 1 crore se kam ki fd non breakable nahi ho sakti aisa nahi ab 2 lakh ki fd karao aur bank wale bolenge ye nahi tootegi minimum 1 crore rupee why rbi gave that option so that uh the on the non callable tds non callable fds इंटरेस्ट रेट वुड बी स्लाइटली हायर सो दैट द बैंक कैन बी श्योर कि ये पैसा हमारे पास ही रहेगा फॉर नेक्स्ट फाइव फोर ईयर वट एवर द मेच्योरिटी पीरियड ऑफ द एफ डी एज बैंक को कन्फर्म रहेगा कि हमारे पास ये पैसा इतने टाइम के लिए है अदरवाइज सी बिकॉज ऑफ द इंटरनेट बैंकिंग पीपल आर ट्रीटिंग देर एफ डी एज सेविंग बैंक अकाउंट दे आर ब्रेकिंग एफ डी इज एवरी डे दे आर मेकिंग एफ डी इज एवरी डे एंड ब्रेकिंग इट एवरी डे so uh, the banks wants to make sure that certain sum of money is with them for uh, for certain certain sum of period 5 saal ki fd hai to 5 saal rahe unke paas so uh, at least to be 1 crore ki fd karwa jo hai wohi uh, non callable ho sakti hai usse choti wali nahi ho sakti what is the new definition of bulk deposit for regional rural banks so if you go to a bank if you check the interest rate chart fds ka likha hota hai so it is different uh, for 1 crore and above interest rate is slightly higher sometimes and for less than 1 crore it is different okay for bulk deposit the definition for rrb it has been changed to 1 crore so new definition of bulk deposit for rrbs is 1 crore rupee and what is the minimum net worth required for payment uh, aggregator cross border who is a payment aggregator i i hope you already aware of razorpay 
इंस्टा मोजो सी सी एवेन्यू जस पे नाउ इवन पे टी एम इज हैविंग द पेमेंट एग्रीगेटर सो एक सिस्टम है उनका दे आर एन ए पी आई एंड हु हैज़ साइंड अप हु हैज़ एसोसिएशन विद ऑल द बैंक पेमेंट वॉलेट्स पेमेंट ऑप्शन राइट एंड दे गिव इन ए पी आई ऑन बैंक एग्जाम्स टूडे यू कैन मेक पेमेंट वाया एस बी आई इंटरनेट बैंकिंग एमेजॉन पे वॉलेट और पे टी एम और यू पी आई यू कैन मेक पेमेंट बाय वट एवर ऑप्शन यू वॉन्ट टू मेक पेमेंट ओके सो दैट इज पेमेंट एग्रीगेटर फॉर मेकिंग द इफ एनी बडी इफ एनी कंपनी वॉन्ट्स टू मेक क्रॉस बॉर्डर ट्रांजेक्शन्स दे नीड टू हैव अ मिनिमम फिफ्टीन करोड़ रुपी नेटवर्थ दैट शुड बी द नेटवर्थ एट द टाइम ऑफ एप्लीकेशन एट द टाइम ऑफ एप्लीकेशन फिफ्टीन करोड़ का नेटवर्थ and by 31st of march 2026 the net worth should be 25 crores and they should be comply with all the kyc norms they must get a license from rbi uh, they should do the, all the fraud prevention measures dispute re resolution mechanism should be there they should submit periodic reports with the rbi so a lot of regulations are there on them okay so students that's all for today Central Bank of India Credit Officer Skill to Course is available on bankexamstudy.com. We are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, live sessions, weekly quizzes, and interview preparation guidance on Bank Exams Today. You can check it. You will like it for sure. Uh, list of our successful students who cracked the PNBSO Credit Officer, Bank of Maharashtra Journalist Officer, RRB Skill to Skill Three Twenty Twenty Two Twenty. Uh, to Bank of Maharashtra, 21 RRB, 2020, 2019. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. You can be one of them in the future. Link to join the course is available in the description. And this is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts, and I'm going to answer your doubts. And that's all for today, students. Thank you, and have a very nice day to watching the complete video. Bye bye.